Welcome back ladies and gents, like I always say, before I start this topic, if you look at the corner over there, there is a red subscribe button. Don't forget to tap it and subscribe to my channel. In this video, I'll be looking at 9.3, the chain rule. 9.3 represents chapter 9, section 3 of the Pearson A-Level Maths, Pure Maths Year 2 textbook. So, let's start off with what the chain rule is. Okay, so we have the chain rule. Now, the chain rule says to find dy over dx, you have to take dy over du and multiply by du over dx. So, dy over dx is given by dy over du multiplied by du over dx. Now, I could use any other variable instead of the u. So, I could use t, I could use s, I could use theta. But in this case, I'm just going to stick to u. Okay, so that there is the chain rule. Let's have a look at x as a function of y. To work out dy over dx, what you need to do is as follows. dy over dx is equal to 1 over dx over dy. Okay, so let's focus on the notation dy over dx. What this is trying to say is differentiate y with respect to x meaning differentiate the x terms okay and over here dx over dy what this is trying to say is differentiate x with respect to y so you're differentiating the y terms let's have a look at a question if y is equal in brackets 1 plus 2x to the power 4 find dy over dx okay so we can differentiate this over here using the chain rule the way to do this is to first of all start off by letting u equal to what you have inside the bracket. So that is 1 plus 2x. The next step is to find du over dx. So du over dx is equal to 2. Right, now what I can do is rewrite this particular y in terms of x as y in terms of u. So Doing that, I can get the following result, y is equal to u to the power 4. Now, I need to work out dy over du. So dy over du is equal to 4u to the power 3. I can use the chain rule and write down dy over dx is equal to dy over du multiplied by du over dx. Okay, so my dy over du is 4u to the power 3. So 4u to the power 3 multiplied by my du over dx. Well, my du over dx is 2. Okay, so 4u cubed multiplied by 2 is just 8u cubed. Now, the final step is to replace the u with 1 plus 2x. So I get 8 in bracket 1 plus 2x to the power 3. If y is equal 1 plus 2x in bracket to the power 4, then dy over dx using the chain rule is just 8 in bracket 1 plus 2x to the power 3. In general, if y is equal to f of x, in square bracket to the power n okay then dy over dx is given by bringing down the power n subtracting 1 from the power and multiplying by the derivative of f of x so f dash of x that there is the general rule so you don't have to use the chain rule to differentiate something like this. You can just apply this particular rule over here to quickly differentiate. Okay, so now I'm going to be looking at more questions in which we can actually apply this particular rule. So over here it says find dy over dx for each of the following. Question number one, we've got y equal 3 plus 4x inside the bracket to the power of half. Okay, so to find dy over dx, you bring down the power of half, 
subtract 1 from the power, so that's minus a half, multiplied by the derivative of what you have inside the bracket. So the differential of 3 plus 4x is just 4. Now we can just simplify this. A half times 4 is just 2. In bracket, 3 plus 4x to the power minus a half. Moving on to question number 2. Y is equal 1 over square root 7 minus x. My first step is to rewrite this fraction in this particular form over here. So I need to use my knowledge of laws of indices from year 1. So using my knowledge of laws of indices from year 1, this particular fraction can be rewritten in the form 7 minus x in bracket to the power minus a half. Now I'm ready to differentiate. dy over dx is equal to... Well, I need to bring down the power first, so I get minus a half here, in bracket 7 minus x. Subtract 1 from this power, giving me minus 3 over 2, multiplied by the derivative of what we have inside the bracket. So it will be minus 1. So if we simplify this, we get a half in bracket 7 minus x to the power minus 3 over 2. Question number 3, y is equal sine to the power 5, 4x. For this particular question, you need to know how to differentiate sine. So if you don't know how to differentiate sine, check out my video 9.1 differentiating sine and cos. Right, the very first step is to rewrite sine to the power 5, 4x as follows. Sine 4x in bracket to the power 5. Now, this over here, sine 4x in bracket to the power 5, is of this particular form. Now I can differentiate. dy over dx is equal to, I bring down the power 5 in bracket sine 4x, subtract 1 from this power, so I will get 4, multiplied by the derivative of what you have inside the bracket. So the derivative of sine 4x is just 4 cos 4x. I can simplify this and write the following. 20 sine to the power 4, 4x cos 4x. Moving on to question number 4, y is equal to square root ln x cubed. For this particular question, you need to know how to differentiate the natural logarithm. If you don't know how to differentiate the natural logarithm, check out my video 9.2 differentiating exponentials and logarithms. Okay, the first step is to rewrite square root ln x cubed. I can write ln x cubed square bracket to the power 1 over 2. Remember guys, if you take the square root, it is the same as applying power 1 over 2. Now I'm ready to differentiate. So I get dy over dx is equal to, I bring down the power, so I get a half square bracket ln x cubed, subtract 1 from the power 1 over 2, which is going to give me minus a half, multiplied by the derivative of ln x cubed. Right, so the derivative of ln x cubed will just be 3x squared over x cubed. Here is an exam question. Given that y is equal to 1 plus ln 4x inside the bracket to the power 3 over 2, Find the value of dy over dx at x equal 1 over 4 e to the power 3. Now my y equation is of this form over here. So I can use this rule to differentiate my y equation. dy over dx is equal to, I bring down the power 3 over 2, in bracket 1 plus ln 4x, subtract 1 from the power 3 over 2, giving me 1 over 2, multiplied by the derivative of what we have inside the bracket. Remember, a constant differentiates to 0. ln 4x differentiates to 4 over 4x. Okay, If I simplify this, I obtain the following result. 3 over 2x in bracket 1 plus ln 4x to the power of half. My next step is to work out dy over dx when x is equal 1 over 4 e to the power 3. So I've got my dy over dx over here. What I need to do is substitute x equal 1 over 4 e to the power 3 into my dy over dx. So dy over dx when x is equal 1 over 4 e to the power 3 is equal to 3 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 4 e to the power 3 
square bracket 1 plus ln 4 multiplied by 1 over 4 e to the power 3 and we've got the power of half here. What we need to do now is simplify this. After simplifying, I end up with 6 over e to the power 3, 1 plus ln e to the power 3 inside the bracket to the power 1 over 2. What I can do now is cancel the ln and the e because ln and e are inverses of each other. So if I cancel ln and e, that brings down the 3, giving me 6 over e to the power 3 multiplied by 1 plus 3, which is 4, to the power of half. Okay, now 4 to the power of half is just square root of 4, which is 2. So 2 times 6 is 12. We end up with 12 over e to the power 3. Here is another juicy exam question. Given that x is equal sine 4y, y is more than or equal to minus pi over 2, but less than or equal to pi over 2, find dy over dx in terms of x. Okay, so I've got x in terms of y. Over here, x is in terms of y. To work out dy over dx, I have to use this rule over here. dy over dx is just 1 over dx over dy. So my first step is to work out dx over dy. dx over dy is equal to 4 cos 4y. I repeat, if you don't know how to differentiate sine, check my video tutorial 9.1 differentiating sine and cos. Okay, so dx over dy is equal to 4 cos 4y. To work out dy over dx, what I need to do is 1 over dx over dy. So that would be 1 over 4 cos 4y. Right, over here I've got dy over dx in terms of y. I want dy over dx in terms of x. So what do I do then? Well, I've got x equals sine 4y, perhaps I need to use the identity sine squared plus cos squared equal 1. In this context, it will be sine squared 4y plus cos squared 4y equal 1. So, because x is equal sine 4y, x squared is just sine squared 4y. So I can replace the sine squared 4y with x squared. Then I've got plus cos squared 4y is equal 1. Now my target is to make cos 4y the subject. So if I make cos 4y the subject, I get plus or minus square root 1 minus x squared. Now I need to say to myself, do I take the positive or the negative root? Well, you need to go back to the interval for y y is more than or equal to minus pi over 2 but less than or equal to pi over 2. So on our cos diagram, we're looking at the c and the a quadrant. This is 0, this is minus pi over 2, and this is pi over 2. So y could be anywhere between the c and the a quadrant. And in the c and the a quadrant, cos is positive. So we have to take the positive root. Now, my final step is to replace the cos 4y with square root 1 minus x squared. So dy over dx in terms of x will be 1 over 4 square root 1 minus x squared. And that there is the answer.